It's week 17 of the 2019 NFL season. The Falcons are playing the Buccaneers in Tampa Bay. The Falcons have come back from down six points late in the fourth quarter to force overtime. Jameis Winston is one interception away from becoming the first player in NFL history to throw for at least 30 touchdowns and 30 interceptions in the same season. This is the first snap of overtime. Down for Tampa Bay, would win it. Back 20. Back 20. Only three points scored in the entire half. It is. An interception for a touchdown. It's Debo Jones. And he ties that 30-30, the first guy to do it. Jameis not only became the first player to throw the 30 for 30, this was his seventh pick six of the season, which also happened to set the single season record. Only Jameis can fail in such a spectacular fashion. Please, somebody give this guy a starting job. Jameis Winston, what a guy. 30 plus touchdowns, very good. 30 interceptions, less good. So which is it? Is he good or bad? Do you want the good news or the bad news first? You know I like my dessert first. 2013 introduced us to the enigma of Jameis Winston. He burst onto the college football scene as a redshirt freshman and won a Heisman, then a national title, and then some crab legs, in that order. Last season, Winston threw for a league-leading 5,109 yards and was second in the league with 33 touchdowns, behind the MVP Lamar Jackson. To put that in perspective, there are only four quarterbacks in NFL history who have thrown for more yards in a season. He has amassed nearly 20,000 passing yards over his five-year career, and even has a Pro Bowl appearance on his resume when he was, by some miracle, selected over Kirk Cousins, who led him by a lot in pretty much every single statistical category. On to the bad. Give me the damn veggies. Throwing for 30 interceptions will never help your claim as an elite QB. Jameis is tied for number one in the league for pass attempts per game, but his completion percentage is 41st in the league. Jameis also led the NFL in deep pass attempts with 7.1 per game, despite only completing 36.3% of those passes, which puts him at number 17 in the league. For good measure, he also led in interceptable passes and danger plays, plays where he took an unnecessary risk that put him in danger of turning the ball over. This is also an official petition to change the name of that stat to Jameis Plays. He led both of these categories by a pretty wide margin. Nobody this good has been this bad and remained a starting quarterback. Who's to blame for this inconsistency? The obvious answer is Jameis Winston, because that's the right answer. But let's see if we can try and blame somebody else instead. The Tampa Bay offensive line was ranked 7th by Pro Football Focus last season, and he still was sacked the 4th most, so they're not really the problem. In fact, relative to the rest of the league, he's better when pressured. His completion percentage jumps from 31st in the NFL with a clean pocket to 14th when he's pressured. So maybe he should go somewhere with a worse offensive line. What about his receivers? He's only got guys like Mike Evans, who won Johnny Manziel a Heisman, and Chris Godwin, so they've got to be the problem, right? His supporting cast efficiency is ranked 6th in the NFL. So, yeah, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin are not the problem. His coach has been deemed a quarterback wizard, so we can safely assume that he's not the problem. Jameis' results speak for themselves, and there's nobody left to blame. He just hasn't eaten enough W's. That's a W. That's E1. That's E1. That's a W. His career record is 28 and 42, with just one season above 500. His statistical regression in his second season at Florida State was initially easy to explain away, but now we know that the Heisman season was an outlier. With Jameis Winston, you're getting a QB that is a slinger but not always accurate, a guy that takes more risks than he needs to, throws more deep balls than anyone 
throws a lot of touchdowns, but also just as many interceptions. Pretty, isn't it? Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. He is certainly something to behold. So to answer the question that you came looking for, is Jameis Winston good or bad? Yes.